Hey everyone, it's Mike Andes, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can get over six figures in annual revenue in your lawn care business without hiring anybody. And so, a lot of you have heard me talk about starting a lawn care business and scaling up really big, but if your goal is to make over $100,000, one of the myths that I see out there is that you need to go hire people. I'm gonna do the math today and show that you can make $100,000 plus without needing to hire a bunch of employees, or even one employee for that matter. In my opinion, if you are hiring somebody and you're hiring a full-time person, you're gonna have no money left over if you're only doing 100,000 in revenue. The reason I say that is if I am doing 100,000 in revenue and I have a full-time employee, so full-time employee gonna cost me, let's just say $40,000 a year, Okay, so $20 per hour, multiply that by 2,000 hours in the year. And again, when I say $20 per hour, you know, that's gonna include like taxes and everything else. And so it's probably actually more than that by the time you include all the different things that go into paying an employee. But let's just say it's $40,000 off the top, and then you got things like overhead. So you're going to have fuel, insurance, now you're gonna have to pay payroll tax and a whole bunch of those things because you have a full-time employee, you're probably gonna need a shop space. All that, you're literally gonna have another $40,000 in just overhead. And guess what? Now, I only have $20,000 in profit. That's not even enough, like why would I have a business? Why would I have a lawn care business if I'm gonna make $20,000? I might as well go become an employee somewhere else and make forty dollars or $50,000 a year as a frontline employee. So. In my opinion, you cannot hire a full-time employee at 100,000 in revenue. Now, if you're trying to grow really big, you might hire someone before that with the expectation you're gonna do like 150 or 200 or more. But I, can, I consistently see where one employee, even in a bigger business, can do $100,000 per year in revenue per employee. So what that means, if you're solo and you're just getting started and you're trying to get to 100,000, you don't need an employee to do that. I'm gonna show you the math behind my logic. So, we're trying to get it to $100,000 in revenue. And someone will start getting, you know, five, six thousand $6,000 a month in monthly revenue, and they're like, oh, I need an employee. And my first thing is like, no, you don't. Now, if you're trying to double and triple each month and trying to get up to 50, 60,000 a month in revenue very, very quickly, like within the next six months, then obviously you will need employees. But, if your goal is 100,000, you do not need employees. Let's run the math. Let's assume that you work 2,000 hours per year, okay? And again, uh, for most small business owners and in this industry, we're gonna work a lot more than 2,000 hours. But let's just assume 2,000 hours because maybe in a, you know, another 500 of those, 500 of those hours are gonna be like admin, sending out estimates, doing invoicing, answering phone calls, doing things on the weekend, maintenance on your equipment, et cetera. But 2,000 hours are actually out in the field working. In order to make $100,000, all I need to earn is $50 per hour. If I make $50 per hour, I multiply that by 2,000, I just earn myself $100,000 in annual revenue without needing an employee. So the bottom line is, are you charging what you're worth because most solo operators will sell themselves short and not charge $50 more, $50 or more per hour. I really believe, a lot of times people think, well, I'm solo, I'm small, I shouldn't charge 50, 60, 70, 80 plus dollars per hour, when in reality, you've gotta realize that you as a solo operator, you as someone that just, the owner is actually on the property doing the work, you care more for the customer than any employee ever will. And you should charge a premium price for that. Think of yourself as like the, the best gardener, the best landscaper, and if you're not gonna go get employees and keep scaling up the business, you should absolutely be raising your price. Fill to capacity and then raise price. So what I'm gonna be trying to do if I'm a solo operator or I'm trying to get to 100,000 revenue is I'm gonna make sure that out of my 40 hours that I have every single uh, uh, every single week, so you know, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm gonna make sure that I fill up every single hour with work, okay? That's my goal. So maybe I get 50, 60, 70, 80 mowing customers and, and then have, spend some time where like one day a week I do projects or cleanups or something like that. I fill my, my capacity, again, maybe your capacity is 40 hours. Okay, fill capacity, so number one, fill capacity, 
And that's basically get as many jobs as possible. And I've talked about this before. When you're first getting started, all I care about is getting more jobs. All I care about is close ratio. Get the jobs. I don't care how profitable it is. I don't care what your hourly rate is at the very beginning. I need number one is fill capacity. Once you fill capacity, then you just keep raising your prices. And this is not a one-time deal. You keep raising your prices. If you don't want to grow and get a bunch of employees, you should just constantly be raising your price. Maybe you start out your business and you do $40 an hour. You're like, man, it's really low. You're right. But fill capacity, fill up your full week where you have you don't have any more time in your schedule, and then just constantly raise price. Okay, I'm gonna go from 40 to 50. Oh, a couple months later, I'm gonna go 50 to 60. Oh, you know what, you, you'd be surprised. People all of a sudden, they don't accept your estimates less. They still accept you at a higher price because you care more. You are gonna be the person working on their property, the owner working on their property that's of massive value to a potential customer. So, if you're going, trying to shoot for $100,000, you do not need employees. If you're trying to go past 100, like 200, 300, obviously you're gonna need employees, but I can, I've seen solo operators doing lawn care and mowing services doing 130, 140, $150,000 in annual revenue because they did this. First, they filled their capacity and they just kept raising prices. Every single spring, they would raise the prices on existing customers. Maybe one or two might leave, but most of them would stay because no other competition can prove, can, can guarantee that the owner is going to be on the property. And then they're also going to raise the hourly rate that they're expecting to charge the customer. Because guess what? If I do the math and I say, you know what? I get to the point maybe after a year or two where I'm charging $80 per hour, do the math. If I can, as a solo operator, do 2,000 hours out in the field, then I literally did 160,000. Now let's assume, you know what, I'm gonna actually start in year two, start taking some breaks. I'm only gonna do 1,500 hours in the year. So I'm not gonna work full time. I'm gonna do 1,500 hours out in the field, and then those 500 hours of maintenance and estimates and invoicing, et cetera, I'll do it at home, but I wanna take it easier. But now I've raised my price to the point $80 per hour. Do the math on that, and that is, you're gonna make $120,000 in annual revenue. So, one of the biggest myths, misconceptions in this industry is that to get to 100,000, you need to go hire people. You do not. You need to fill capacity and then consistently and religiously raise your prices to the point where you are 80 or more per hour. And if you think that's crazy, in the comment section, those of you who have been or at 80 or above, let us know, because I promise you it's more than you think, and if you are the solo operator, you're the owner, you're gonna care about the employee, the customer more than any employee ever will, and you should absolutely be charging a premium for that. I'm Mike Andes, hope that was helpful, and we'll see you tomorrow.